Nice. Good job. <laughs> All right. So I thought I'd share with you a project I worked on tonight. Um, my family and I have gotten into top rope outdoor rock climbing. I'll do a few videos on that soon. But uh, one of the things that they sell for rock climbers to improve their grip is called fingerboards. And you're either interested in the woodworking and you don't know what a fingerboard is, or you're interested in rock climbing and you know what fingerboards are, but you maybe you're not a woodworker. Or better, you have both. One of the great pleasures in life is when uh, two hobbies that you enjoy come together and you get to combine them in a rare way. And I would say this is one of those things. So, yeah, this is a chunk of mahogany. I had this, uh, I was going to make some bar stools, but we ended up not doing it. So I've had these now for a couple years. Uh, yeah, what are they? Thick. Let's see here. Something like an inch and three quarters or seven eighths thick. And this is about 20 inches long. And uh, yeah, anyway, so basically I um, got it all flat and straight and true with the table saw as well as some hand planes. And then I used, um, I did the holes. So a lot of times they'll do holes so you can practice individual fingers like that. Um, of course, you can also practice individual fingers on the lips, but it's a little easier in the holes. And so I did a deep groove with the router bit. And then I did a shallower groove, which is harder to hold on to. You kind of work your way up to that. And then I did the holes just with a uh, on the drill press with a Forstner bit, which was way easier than trying to plunge the router bit. Um, and then I just used uh, that bit, chamfer bit, to just round over all the edges. One thing, oh yeah, and then I did one on the top so that when it's mounted on the wall, I'm basically going to mount this on the wall above the children's door, and so they can also reach around the top and grip. And uh, yeah, you kind of, on the one hand, you want it to be slippery, so they work on their grip. On the other hand, you kind of want it to be rough and sharp so that their skin gets, you know, sort of used to tough surfaces. So basically I have four and four, and then I have two in the center so they can practice hanging from two fingers, and then deep finger grooves, shallow finger grooves. So yeah, it's kind of a cool project. Obviously you could do this out of a two by, I mean, you could do this out of a two by four, basically. It doesn't have to be mahogany. Uh, um, that's totally overkill. And uh, you don't have to do some of the decorative work of chamfering the edges. You can also chamfer all these edges with 80 grit sandpaper and then finish up with 150 and then 220. I threw some linseed oil on this, which is my fastest uh, quick finish, especially something you're gonna handle a lot and doesn't have to be beautiful or doesn't doesn't have to be super durable like a kitchen countertop or a kitchen table where it's going to have food and oil and grit you you want polyurethane but for something like this where it's just the oil from the kids hands this is fine so yeah if you don't have a table saw and a router and all of that and you still want to do this project i would say go for it take a two by four cut it to the length that you want um get yourself some drill bits um you're not gonna be able to use twist bits because they won't be big enough, but you can use Forstner bits. You could also use paddle bits such as, uh, well, these aren't paddle bits. These are a spiral type of bit. Uh, I think they call these paddle bits. I don't use these very often, but you could use these. And uh, you don't have to have a lot of fancy woodworking equipment to make this. Of course, if you do, the result will be even better. So yeah, hopefully that's uh, interesting or inspiring to some of you dads out there or brothers or nephews or anyone really who's got someone in their life who likes rock climbing uh, or it's just good exercise to do pull-ups and all that kind of stuff. So hope you like it. If not, go check out my all-time favorite YouTuber, the one who got me into woodworking, Matthias Wandel, Canadian German electrical engineer, absolutely brilliant. And if you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. I bet you'll go like his, so check him out.